But today I want to show you another type of integration method that is called integration by manipulation. So it's very simple um, because some of sometimes some of the integrals you can tackle by using the standard integral or you cannot use the substitution method. Another way to look at this problem is that okay, I have for example this problem the integral of x to the fifth power times one plus x dx. You cannot use any standard formula for antiderivative to solve this indefinite integral. You cannot use u substitution because if you say, okay, here's the inside function, and when you take the derivative of the inside function, you don't have anything related to x to the fifth power dx at all, right? So you have to find some other way to, to solve this integral. To do that, you look at, okay, I have x to the fifth, but now if I distribute this into the parentheses, I can do that only because this is the power one, right? If I have 1 plus x squared, you cannot do that. This because I can do this because I have 1 plus x to the power 1, right? So therefore, when I distribute x to the fifth into the parentheses, this is what I get. This is what I get. I get the integral of x to the fifth because x to the fifth times 1 and then x to the fifth times x, I get x to the sixth power. Now, when you look at this integral, you see something very familiar to you. I can find the antiderivative of x to the fifth power, and I can find the antiderivative of x to the sixth power separately. Right. So from here, from this integral, I can write into two different integrals. So for the first integral, you can use power rule, and also for the second integral, you can use power rule as well. So for the first integral, the power rule gives you This is what you get for the power rule, x to the fifth power plus 1 divided by 5 plus 1. Similar to the second integral, you have x to the sixth plus 1 divided by 6 plus 1 plus the constant c at the end. Don't forget plus constant c at the end. Now, if this is the free response question, you can just leave it like this. we okay with this. But if this is a multiple choice, you might want to simplify a little bit. And if you simplify, this is what you get. What 5 plus 1 is 6, and 6 plus 1 is 7. If you have 1 over 6 times x to the 6, plus 1 over 7 times x to the 7, plus the constant c. Here's the second problem. So in the first problem, we have two functions multiplying together. We have x to the fifth times 1 plus x. And to tackle that problem, you distribute x to the fifth power into the parentheses to get x to the fifth plus x to the sixth. And then you separate into two different integrals and use power rule to find antiderivative. Uh, please go back to the first video if you want to know what I'm talking about. Here for the second problem, uh, this is another type of integration by manipulation. For this problem, you have a fraction. And in u substitution method, I say, oh, you, usually the denominator is the inside function. But for this problem in particular, when you look at the denominator x squared, um, it's not give you anything when you take the derivative of x squared. There's nothing related to the 5x plus x cubed dx. So for this problem, when you look at this carefully, you can you can simplify this fraction to something uh, to something easier to do with. That is, you can separate this fraction into two different fractions. I have 5x divided by x squared plus x cubed divided by x squared dx. 
Right, so this is good because 5x divided by x, where you can simplify the x right here, and you get 5 over x plus x cubed divided by x, where you just have x. So that means from here, you can separate into two different integrals to find the antiderivative. That is... For the first integral, 5 is the constant, so you can bring the constant arrow of the integral operation. You get 5 times the integral of 1 over x dx plus the second integral. Now, remember, the antiderivative of 1 over x is something a little bit special. It's not power rule, it's something different. Right, so the antiderivative of 1 over x is actually the ln of absolute value of x. And for the second integral, the antiderivative of x is 1 half x squared. And don't forget the plus the constant c at the end. Here's the third problem. So it's the integral of e to the 2x multiplied with the function e to the 5x dx. So the integrand e to the 2x times e to the 5x, this is something you have seen before in college algebra. And in college algebra, then for the algebraic manipulation, if you have the same base, you can add the power together. So that is this integral becomes the integral of e to the 2x plus 5x dx. It becomes e to the 7x dx. So at this point, you try to use some standard formula for antiderivative. You may not find it, but it's this is something that you can tackle because of the u substitution method. That is 7 x is the inside function, and I'm going to let 7x as u. And at this point, I'm going to take the derivative for both sides of u equal to 7x. I have du dx equal to 7. Now, if I multiply both sides for dx, I got du equal to 7 dx. But as before, when you look back to the original, or this at this step, the indefinite integral, you don't have 7 dx, you just have dx. So to get dx by itself, you're going to divide both sides for 7. And you're left with 1 over 7 du equal to dx. And you substitute u equal to 7x and 1 over 7 du for dx, you have a new integral in terms of u and du. And from here, 1 over 7 is the constant. You can bring the constant out of the integral operation. And the antiderivative of e to the u is just e to the u itself. As in the substitution method, you start something in x, you need to end up with something in terms of x as well. So you need to resubstitute u equal to 7x back to your final answer. That is 1 over 7 times e to the 7x plus the constant c. Now this is the final answer. So sometimes you will see a problem just purely um, use substitution methods. Sometimes you see the problem that purely algebraic manipulation. But for this problem, this is not only the manipulation algebraically, but also the use substitution method in order to get the final answer. You need to be careful, you need to read the problem carefully.